for staying with us. Israel's new president, Isaac Herzog, has spoken to his Turkish counterpart, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, in a rare moment of direct communication between top officials from the two countries. Both leaders stressing in the call on Monday night the great importance of maintaining contact and ongoing dialogue despite the differences of opinion. The conversation lasting for about 40 minutes, the Israeli president had coordinated the call ahead of time with Prime Minister Naftali Bennett and Foreign Minister Yair Lapid, who is on a diplomatic trip through Europe this week. Now Turkey has signaled an increased willingness to reset relations with Israel following the formation of a government without Benjamin Netanyahu. So for more insight into this developing story, we now welcome Ambassador Pini Avevi, the former ambassador to Turkey and the former senior deputy director general in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And he joins us live here in Israel. Ambassador, thank you so much for your time on this day. So what do you make of this call between the presidents, Isaac Herzog and Recep Tayyip Erdogan, just a week after the Israeli leader has taken office? He's certainly putting Ankara high up on the agenda. Well, it was always high in the agenda. Not always the relations were as good as we wanted them to be. But for us, and I believe for uh, Ankara as well, the relations themselves are very much important from the strategic point of view. So you talk about that strategic point of view. Benjamin Netanyahu and Recep Tayyip Erdogan didn't see eye to eye on a range of issues. So how do you see the relationship between Ankara and Jerusalem changing now that the veteran Israeli leader is no longer at the helm? As you put it, from a strategic point of view, what could change down the line now? First of all, I think the first question is, why did Erdogan decide now, or some months ago, by the way, uh, to try to reopen the gate for new relations with Israel? And I believe that we should understand, first of all, what are the interests of uh, Ankara itself in that kind of relation? Uh, the last year of uh, Erdogan was a very difficult one. He had a, a super difficult uh, situation in the economic uh, time, life in uh, Ankara itself. He had problem with my, more than one million refugees that came from Syria and other places. The relation with the uh, United, with United States were not good. The relation uh, with Europe as well we're not in a, we're in a very difficult situation. And I know Erdogan, he seriously believed that Israel and the uh, uh, Jewish people might help him a lot in, in uh, building that kind of a bridge between Ankara and the rest of the world. So it's now, precisely now, especially with the new government in Israel, the best time for him to try and to rebuild the relations that were in the past in a very high level, including in his time of a government. Now, that official readout from this call from Monday night talks about the need for this ongoing dialogue, despite the differences of opinion between the two countries. Given your diplomatic experience in this region, as you say, you know Recep Tayyip Erdogan. What do you see as the most pressing issues from the Israeli side that also need to be ironed out when the two countries are looking at future relations? I seriously believe that uh, the situation in the Middle East in general, in Mediterranean as well, need a good relation between Israel and the Ankara. Maybe we will not come ever, in the time of Erdogan anyway, to the same kind of strategic relation, including in security, that we had before Erdogan. But in the time of Erdogan, and today as well, uh, there are many, many other uh, different issues that are very much important for him and for us. Gas, for example, energy, uh, the stability in the region, uh, electricity between the two countries, many, many other uh, different areas that might be important for him and for us. And if you remember, there's some kind of a problem in the area that's are common to Ankara and for us as well, the situation in Syria, uh, the feeling that uh, Iran, a uh, possibility of uh, being a, a nuclear state is a danger not only for us, but uh, for him as well. Uh, all of that uh, put the situation for the first time after some years in a possibility that uh, we didn't have before, that is the goodwill 
the two countries can re-establish very good and high level of relation, not in uh, security maybe, but in all the civil level, I am sure that we can build a lot. And Ambassador, some media reports out of Turkey right now suggest Ankara isn't convinced yet about this new coalition government in Israel. What steps do you think Naftali Bennett and Yair Lapid need to be taking right now to try and change those relations, given the changing order as such or the changing leadership here in this country? You know, after the open uh, declaration of Erdogan and the open conversation between the president of uh, Israel and, uh, and uh, Turkey, now we are now, the best uh, thing to do is to continue the relation in a level of the ministries of all that serve themselves. First of all, we need to, uh, to decide about a new ambassador, I, I believe, uh, to Ankara and the new ambassador of Turkey to Israel. And I think that in diplomatic level, in diplomatic conversation, we can bridge all the differences that existed today between the countries. I don't want to enter here, but I can tell you, I told you before, that uh, the stability depends on that. I think in both sides, uh, diplomats are uh, well aware about the possibilities, and the right conversation between Israel and Turkish diplomats might help a lot. I don't think that now it's time for open declaration. I don't think that we need, it, uh, need to do it uh, through news, uh, newspaper and the TV, but I know that if, this, if there will be a direct conversation, that we know very well uh, Turkish diplomat, we can achieve with them a very good agreement about how to go uh, for a new situation in the relation. Thank you so much for your insights on this changing relationship. Pini Avivi, the former ambassador to Turkey, speaking to us here in Israel. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you, and thank you, audience.